Alright guys and welcome back to Private Problems. Where? <laughs> I've got a couple of things to show you. It's kind of like a preview. It's going to be a short episode. The next one. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Let's get into it. Right then. So. The base is looking pretty good. Everything's going off. I increased the refineries, put some hydrogen engines in, all is well. Miners ticking along quite nicely. We have 31 million hydrogen in storage now. We're looking pretty good. Uh, ores, it's chugging through the ores. It's getting there. Ooh, we're down to. Ooh, way up. What was that about? <laughs> this is a wired keyboard. Shouldn't be doing that. We had 300,000 cobalt to start with, so yeah, it's, it's coming on nicely. We've got bits of everything. It's been a good bit of a refining. The only thing I don't have is uranium, but that's up in the fleet, so I can go get more if I need to. The interesting part I want to show you is hailstorm missiles and Lendis torpedoes. There were two new mods come out. I believe the Garage Gamer demonstrated them. I think that's his YouTube name. Awesome dude for space engineers. <laughs> Always puts a smile on your face. Yeah, these are cool, and I really want to experiment with them. But we'll get back to that in a moment. What's ticking? Oh, that thing's trying to make something, and it's not doing it, isn't it? Shut up. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I kind of spot the surprise there. Oh, well. Tanks. I wanted to tanks. Play with tanks. Problem with tanks is they've only kind of got one, two guns, haven't they? I've been using ships that are armed to the teeth. These things are going to get smoked, but they are cool. I believe, if I get the names right, I know that one's the Reaper. That is a pretty cool tank, I just like the way that looks. Uh, the next one, this has a railgun on it, which I thought is pretty cool. That's a Zerea heavy tank. Is that right? Yes, I believe so. Again, cool tank. I've had to modify them a little bit um, in an attempt to get them all to follow each other. That is how things gonna happen. Because this is the only one that uses actual steering. These use a script. I think it's one of Whiplash's. It's, um, no, it's not the Mart. Skid steer. The Mart's the one that's doing the turrets. I've took that off and put custom turret controllers on. Next, uh, is this the Morning Star? Is that the Morning Star? I think this is the At Gear. This will be the At Gear, and this is the Morning Star. Is that right? I think so. <laughs> this looks about right. They're all very similar, but slightly different. They do look cool. Why is my keyboard doing that? I'm not even on a server. Do I have a sticky key? Hmm. But anyway, all these got together. Nice one. Then I thought we'll come down here. No, I've gone past, haven't I? Yep, there we go. I've not even got them in. Ugh. <laughs> Block weapons. Torpedoes. And the Hailstorm turret. And as you can see from the top right, just underneath the cross, they only come in large grid. Ah. So, I was thinking about a um, multi launch rocket system. MLRS, that's the one. Um, yeah, we could just take a turret off one of these, put it on, discovered that little problem, thought, right, I need a large grid. Finding large grid rovers was proving a little bit problematic. I'm not quite sure. The steam search can be a real pain in the ass. Why they haven't got a separate bit for rovers, I don't know, but they don't. But anyway, I found this. This is an MFB. Or an um, what are those with the thing? FOB, Forward Operating Base. Got there in the end. <laughs> this thing is impressive. I like this. But when you go on the web page, well, the Steam page for it, and hit subscribe, it tells you that it doesn't need mods or scripts. And then once it's finally built up, you can't actually drive the thing. Because the entire command center is using something else that I don't know what it is. Like from here onwards, the pictures show all kinds of screens, computers, and everything else. I, I, whatever it is, I ain't got it. I've got all the DLCs. 
still no idea what's going on in there but yeah there's no actual way to control it so once it's built and starts rolling down the hill you can't stop it <laughs> oh jesus but anyway the thing looks pretty cool it's a shame it doesn't have its original control seat because i was curious to know what kind of options we've had put in there i don't think i'll be able to oh no you can't paste it either can you i've not got whatever mod it's using but this thing is quite impressive. I like this. It's, I still haven't figured out the way around it, but I like it. There we go, custom turrets. It's got a railgun on the roof. It's also a large grid. There's a railgun. <laughs> do I have... I'm not pressing that button, I don't. I do. I've got him. Oh, what am I going to get rid of? Like that for now. I think... This is actually sh oh, you can't see survival. I can put the gun on. I think the gun on this is a bit smaller than that. But I do like having actual turrets compared to custom turrets because they've got a major weakness. And once that goes, then you've got all this left. But if that goes, it gets damaged and you get a chance to repair it as one unit. It swings around about. So these are cool. I mean, <laughs> it's got some nice fancy bits on it, and it with the neon lights and that. It's cool, but. It's vulnerable. But we'll see. I'm not ready yet. I need to figure out all the rest of the bits and how it works and how I can make it work for me. What a rover this is. Can we get down there? There we can. I'm sure we can. Really? Right, just try and fly, maybe. It's slightly off centre look. So the collisions of the character are catching on the uh, half stairs. Yep, it's going to be an ongoing problem. Oh, let me out! <laughs> did I just see a piston for that? Yes, I did. So this is a, a little garage that drops and brings things back up. Yeah, kind of cool. Seems like it's missing a section. I'm going to assume that the blueprint didn't quite like that part. But I can put the blueprint back on here and see if that's anything. And it's new as well, because that's the brand new medical room, isn't it? So this hasn't been released for very long. Internal garage. Steps and bits and pieces all over the place. Right, but that's enough preview. <laughs> This looks awesome. Not quite sure what use the atmospheric thrusters are going to be for us on the moon, but uh, <laughs> I can work with that. Let me put some of the stuff out of the little base we've got here into it and use it like the Atlas and the mothership. So we've got three bases on here to get, but then I'm going to actually traverse all this horrible, horrible terrain. Ugh. Oh well. All else fails, I can take the wallaby in as a backup. Pretty sure that rover is bigger than the wallaby. There can't be much in it. Oh, uh, yeah. You can figure this out, can't you? Come on, talk to me. Info? Yes, blocks. 2709. Let me guess. No connector. On, no connectors on the back, I remember. 2,709 compared to it's a little bit bigger grid mass oh, that would have been a better one wouldn't it 1,851,000 1,851,000 1,851,000 I try not to forget <laughs> oh, let me in wow Oh, she's loaded though, isn't she? Yes. Okay, that's got a hell of a lot more mass to it. How bizarre. Maybe it's not quite as big as I thought, but then again, like I said, that's got weight added. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just little bits like that. I wish I could remember some stuff. It'd make life so much easier. <laughs> oh, yeah. So far, all is going well. I do need to come up with some kind of multi-launch rocket system platform. If you guys have a large grid 
doesn't have to be quite that large. In fact, ooh, 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 I missed one, didn't I? Yes, where are you? Rover. There he is. I need to check this out. This, if you can read that bit there, has a built-in follower thing, and it seems to work quite well. I need to have a real good look at this. Watch all three videos on the Steam page. I've got that to watch in one. <laughs> oh, life's so busy. This could actually be the platform I use from the multi-launch rockets. But if you guys do know one, please suggest it in the comments. That would be awesome to see. I just need like a tank base, but large grid. Just the two wheels do, wouldn't it? In theory, these are going to go up there and run distraction. Don't know how long they're going to last. I'm possibly going to need to try and get that following thing off them and put it into these. That would be wicked, wouldn't it? Just an absolute... What would you call it? Platoon? Battalion? I have no idea. A group. A flock of tanks. <laughs> Just all sort of running in. Causing mischief. Drawing fire. Uh, he's at the back. Big rail gun. Do we risk it? Do we take it in just to make use of that railgun? Might be worth it. I'm saying that, that railgun will only have the 600 uh, metre range, won't it? Because it's an accustomed to it controller. Ugh. Is it really... No, it's close enough. Yes! Ooh, I'll go further though. Oh, I'll go to 800. <laughs> I wonder if that's its large grid instead of small grid. It's a bit less than 2,000 though, isn't it? I'll say that, no. 800's it, isn't it? 800 is the limit. Yeah, what am I talking about? It's the sh the, the shell for the sab sabot. Sabot? T silent, isn't it? That ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Into there, ammo. Yep, there we go. Oh, the slugs now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the T is silent. A sabo. Sabo. I'll go with slug. <laughs> I'm not sure which mod gave me these. It's one of them. But these are really expensive. 0.6 uranium. That is going to burn through it, and if you miss, ugh, such a shame. Why not more magnesium rather than uranium? Completed uranium, that's armour piercing. Huh? 3.50, 3.50, 3.50. 50, 350, and then two. Why does that cost more if it's a standard? It doesn't sound like a standard, does it? So, what does that do differently to that? Ooh, there's something going off here then. Yeah, I was like, when the uranium in this, it'd be depleted uranium, it's for armor penetration. And that's supposed to be high explosive. There's some explosive in there, surely. Confused. <laughs> hmm. Nice to figure out which mod bringing those in though. It's got to be one of the gun mods, hasn't it? Oh, I'd imagine it's the. Uh... <sighs> oh. Warfare editions. Warfare editions mod. Yeah, there is the giant railgun as well. He, <laughs> the twin. <laughs> yeah, that's quite impressive. By the way. Right guys, I have been waffling for far too long. It's supposed to be a preview. I'm heading on for full length here. But yeah, next episode, hopefully, it's going to be wicked. I'm going to try and get these guys to follow in a group. That's going to be the main one. And I do need some kind of large grid rover to launch the rockets from. I'm just mass produce rockets. <laughs> and then go cast hell. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. But on that note, I'm going to leave it here. So, thanks so much for watching. Like I say, if you do have a large grid rover suggestion, please drop it in the comments, send me a link. 
it'll be awesome to check them out and figure out if we can make them work and I need to check out that one which does the following because somebody's already figured it out <laughs> that does look awesome <laughs> so guys I'm going to call it there thank you very much for watching we will catch you next time laters